warp stabilizer and speed can't be used on the same clip. Hey guys, I'm Shruth and welcome to this tutorial on how to add warp stabilizer and speed ramp together. The first step is to open up Adobe Premiere. So it's Adobe Premiere Pro 2015 for me. It works for a majority of the versions. The next step is to make a new project. So new project and I'm going to name it tutorial. And the next step is to open up a file. To import a file, control I is a shortcut or you can simply choose import, file, import and select a file. Drag it to the timeline. Let me shorten that clip. So let me add warp stabilizer to this clip. Search for warp stabilizer and let me drag it down. Now let me add that speed, or you can change the speed of that clip. So to change the speed, um, Control R is a shortcut, or simply speaking, you can go to speed duration and change it to, I would say, uh, 150 percentage. Okay, and you can find out there is an error. Warp stabilizer and speed can't be used on the same clip. So there is a solution to this particular error. Delete the file and drag the file again. Add warp stabilizer. It takes a bit of time because we have 200 frames to be stabilized and after stabilizing, click on the nest button. The fix to that error is actually the nesting. So click on nest and make a nested sequence. Now change the speed of that sequence, speed, duration. Let me change it to 150. Okay, now, as you can see, I have added a warp stabilizer along with a speed change. So, but there is no error. So that's the tutorial on how to add warp stabilizer and speed together in a clip. Uh, many find it difficult at first, but after watching a few tutorials on YouTube, they 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 find a solution to that issue. So that's it. So if you like such videos, do subscribe onto my channel. That's sure thing you can. If you like this video, please click that, click that like button. If you have any clarifications on this thing, do post them on the comment section. So thank you for watching.